Good morning, everybody. I'm FaceTiming my family. There's Parker and Duncan and Jacob and Jessica's there. I don't know why I wanted to like peekaboo you guys. I don't know either, but I liked it. And Eric's playing with Bubbles. Love FaceTiming my family. I do it all the time. <laughs> it is playing with bubbles with Eric, and I'm gonna eat one of my chocolate covered bananas, and I think I wanna give one to, can I give one to Flynn? It's cacao. Yeah, it's cacao. Look at how little it is. And I put a little tiny bit of chocolate on his, there's not a lot. Flynn, do you want a popsicle? Do you want a popsicle? Do you want a popsicle? Oh, what's that? <gasps> Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's different, huh? Usually they're like very wet. They are, usually he has like ones that melt. This one's not gonna melt, it's a banana. So he's going to town, I'm gonna go to town. I made these yesterday in my vlog, if you guys saw. Oh wow, hard rock and delicious. Do you wanna go in the pool? <laughs> I'm to put my bread dough in the oven so we can have bread. All right, so that will cook for 35 minutes. We're gonna go in the pool, and Eric's gonna eat a chocolate of a banana. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey! hey! Don't you do that. Hey, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I know you belong to some. Oh, you want me to sing that song? Okay, ready? Sit up, ready? Crawl away. Fall down. I didn't say eat the card. I said fall down. Dance, dance, play, dance, come to town. Dance, dance, play, and we all fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Yeah! Don't eat my lipstick. Living with a toddler, just trying to pull things out of his mouth, and just farting in my face. If that ain't living with a toddler, I don't know what is. Aunt Rachel's here to drop something off. So we're gonna go say hi from a very far distance. All right, wanna say hi? Oh my God, the entire clip you're about to watch, I just have chocolate all over my face and I have no idea. So enjoy that. I got my coffee, but I'm editing and uploading my vlog for the day. And I really wanna post a TikTok, but it would require so much work. I need to edit another TikTok of me and a bunch of fans doing like this Miranda lipstick exchange, but so many people sent me videos. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to narrow it down. I don't want anyone to be left out. I don't want anyone to feel sad that they weren't in it. I don't know what to do. Because I can't put any, everyone in it because it's only a minute long TikTok. There's no way to put everybody in it. I mean, maybe I could do it in fast motion. Hmm, that's I don't know, so I need to figure that out for now. I'm dealing with an allergy attack and drinking coffee, so I'm going to keep doing that. And I'll see you guys all later. Well, I'm in a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me why. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I might as well just tell you. I was doing a TikTok. I had this idea for a TikTok. I was listening to a musical yesterday, and there's a song that came on that I really liked. That's silly, and it's about like a dress. And I was like, oh, there's. And it was just made me think like, there's so many dresses that I wanted to wear in the past couple of months that I can't because of the coronas. And that's okay. I'm not upset. Like, I'm happy to stay home and do my part. But I was like, oh, it'd be funny if I like. Well, not funny. It'd just be interesting if I like did a video where I wore all the dresses I wanted to wear in the past couple of months. And one of them was a wedding dress. I wanted to do like a wedding with Eric, like a big party, not like a wedding, but like a wedding party. And so I was like, oh, I could wear the wedding dress that I liked in this video. And so that's why I'm wearing it. I'm too lazy to take it off right now. I can't really take it off on my own. It takes two people because it's like a lace up in the back. Anyway, you don't care, but that's why I'm in a wedding dress. I'm just too lazy to take it off. Okay, so I might as well just stay in it. I don't get to wear it ever, so might as well just enjoy it. And and enjoy this moment wearing this very tight, very cute wedding dress that I bought on Amazon. If you haven't seen that video, I did a video where I bought a bunch of wedding dresses from Amazon and tried them all on, and this was one of them, and I really liked this one. Anyway, I'm gonna go edit. So Eric had no idea that I was putting this on, that I was making this video. I just told him I was going to work in my office, so I'm gonna go surprise him right now. See what he thinks. <laughs> He's seen me in this before, because when I made that video, he was there. Oh, he's in the guest room. 
What's your reaction? Oh. An eye roll. It's always something shocking when you walk into a room. <laughs> Flynn, look at your cool shoes. Can I see your shoes? Flynn got new shoes today. It looks like you're having a hard time walking in. No, you Those are cool. Your daddy got you some cool new shoes, huh, bud? <laughs> yeah, do you like my dress? What's going, what's going on? I did a video where I was wearing this and then I started editing and I just didn't take it off. But I did a TikTok where I was like putting on all the dresses I never to wear. Because remember right before tour was supposed to happen, I bought like a ton of sparkly dresses. Yeah. And I never had to wear any of them. So I was like, I'm going to do a TikTok wearing all the dresses that I never have to wear because of quarantine. Your mommy's dress. Remember we were going to do a wedding this summer. Party. I was going to wear a wedding kind of dress. so pretty. No, my, the look on my face was that like, which is me and Flynn just like cleaning the guest room and you just like wander in, in a like full on wedding glam. I know. And how it's like not shocking. I it's know. just like a. Uh, mm -hmm. dress? I was like, Dad, she's a weirdo. Alrighty, I'm gonna take this off, but I need some help. Ew. Ew. When Flynn sits in his playpen and plays, oh. he can't do it alone. I mean, sometimes he'll do it alone, but he he loves to have you sit in here with him so he can talk to you about his toys, and it's the cutest thing in the world. I absolutely love it. But one thing he loves to do with Corey is Corey flips over all these little bath foams, and then he flips them over and gets excited about them. Flynn, what's this one? A gadget. What is it? <gasps> <laughs> wow. <gasps> what's this one? What's that? Wow, I'm making tortillas. We are making, you can keep singing. Don't let me stop you. I don't know the next word. Toodle, toodle, little star. How I wonder what How you I are. Love it. Yes. Up, 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 up. Oh my gosh. Flynn, whenever that song comes on, puts his hands up in the sky. Yeah, he puts his hands in the air. Because we say up above and then the sky and stuff like that. So he puts his hands up. Anyway, I'm making tortillas. It's very easy. It's very simple. I do it all the time on this channel. So if you've been watching, you already know. Very easy. Two cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of butter. And you mix that all together. And then you add three fourths cup of water. And that makes like about a dozen tortillas. And I'm gonna make little balls to roll into my tortillas and we're gonna make them. They're so much better than store-bought So now I'm just toasting up these tortillas in some frying pans and when they start to get a little bubbly like this You can flip them around Boop. Ta -da. It only takes a couple seconds, not seconds, maybe two minutes. Easy, just it's time consuming to like roll out the dough and cook them like one at a time, it's really annoying. But they taste delicious, it's totally worth it. So for dinner, we attempted to make enchiladas, but we were missing a lot of ingredients. So instead of a chicken, we made them with chorizo. So they're more like little breakfast burritos that will be a little wet. <laughs> That's what it's looking like right now. And the oven goes, we'll see how it tastes. I have no idea if they're gonna be any good, but we'll find out in like half an hour. Whoa, it just happened. I just brushed the cat for like 60 seconds. You know. That was not a long time. That was like literally maybe two minutes. She's disgusting. And I've been doing this once a week and it's still like that much comes out. And look at how much is on me. Like there's more on me than there is in this pile. Daisy. <laughs> oh, love. You just gonna leave that there now? I don't want to pick it up. I'm trying to get it off of me a little. It's bigger than she is. <laughs> Look how much fur she still has. She still looks disgusting. Her fur just gets matted like in 0.2 seconds. It's horrible. It's, pieces are getting away. <laughs> oh, I want to. I literally want to roll up. <laughs> I made up. Chocolate chip walnut pie. <laughs> I don't know guys, I can't, <laughs> I can't just not do anything. Someone was like, how do you have time to make a six course meal every day? I don't have time. I'm going nuts. We were watching an hour and 15 minute long documentary and we couldn't even I had to get up and make a chocolate chip walnut pie from scratch. I couldn't sit and watch a documentary for an hour. I was like, we must do something else as well. I really can't just do one thing at a time. I have to do a million things always every day. And I used to be fulfilled by going on tour and having meetings and working and creating and doing all this 
weird stuff. And even when I was touring, I was always changing the show and making new costumes and making new props and editing new things. And if I was making videos, I would travel and do, I was doing a million weird things. And now we're just here at the house and I'm very fortunate and very lucky to be in the situation that I'm in. But I have to fill my day with a million things or else I feel like I'm gonna go insane. And so I, I can't sit and watch an hour documentary. I have to make a chocolate chip walnut pie that I don't want. I'm not craving it, doesn't sound good. Uh, no one asked for it. I just stood up and went and made it from scratch and then there you go. So I don't know what is wrong with me. What does that mean about me? Oh, I have another question. What does it mean if you can write in mirror image very easily, like as easy as you can for an image? Can you do that? Can you write in mirror image like this? I drew a picture of Gus the other day laying down on his back. <laughs> That's what I thought he looked like. So like for example, what do you want me to say? Right inside of Gus's stomach. Right inside of Gus's stomach? <laughs> you want me to write that sentence or are you going to physically write inside his stomach? What am I writing? Right, I am Gus. Okay. I am Gus. Can you not do that? No, I mean, I think I could. I think right. I could. Like that, that fast? I don't know about tell that. Me tell, me, tell me something else. Tell me something else. Well, yeah, you have to write it as I say it. Okay. My name is. Fart monster. I. Okay, love. I don't have room, but that pretend. Was born Hold on. Monster. Okay. <laughs> How long is this story? I was born in 1927. In 1927. The third child. Okay, 1927. Uh, the third child. The <laughs> I don't have room. Third. Okay, I don't have room, but <laughs> but you get the point. Like now, let's go look in the mirror and see if I did it wrong. My name is Fart Monster. I was born in 1927. The third, and I didn't have room. Is that weird that I can do that? That looks pretty good. Is that weird that I can do that? What does that mean about my brain? <laughs> I don't know that, is that weird? I don't know that we've stumbled upon your genius. I think that can you, you do just that? wrote the word fart monster backwards <laughs> really quickly. But I think that's all it means. Can you do that? How do you do it? Okay. Maybe you can do it because you're left handed. What, okay. is that? what does that have to do with him? I don't know, maybe it like, helps you be backwards. So okay. here, you're gonna do down here. I love my wife. She <sighs> is smarter. So it's fiction. <laughs> <laughs> then it's actually a then. Oh, <laughs> not then. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Okay. Okay, I'll say this. Let's go check your work. Let's go prove. That's bad. Totally I think that was pretty good. So maybe it's not a hidden talent I have. Maybe everyone can do this. I love my wife. She is. My A's are wrong. Smarter than me, less. See, that's pretty good. But see, you said it's a good mental exercise, but I don't feel like you have to think about it. I feel like you can just do it. I feel like that's weird, but maybe it's not because you just did it just as fast as me. So maybe I thought I had this hidden talent that I don't actually have because you just did it the same well, as me. I, I will say that also, like, my penmanship is better than yours. Yours looks like. I was trying to do it fast. Do you want me to try again? Do it cleaner? I was working on the wrong kind of paper. Okay, let's think Game. of the sentence I should write. Well, we've found it. We found your hidden talent. I hate you. <laughs> you should do this I at parties. Feel like it, but I don't have to think about it. Like I can see it both ways. Like I can see the words both ways. But yeah, of course, I don't know. It's gonna look like a child because when you're a child, you learn how to write. It's sloppy, and then you learn how to do it better. Why would I ever write? Backwards? You are Rain Man. Let's go to Vegas. Let's get you on a blackjack table. Let's get you on a blackjack table. Me, that I can do this. Why can't I do this? What's wrong with me that I can do that? Stick with cat hair. <laughs> this is how I find her most nights. I'll come downstairs at midnight and she'll just be staring in a mirror of a piece of paper that she wrote backwards. <laughs> You've lost your damn mind. That's the worst thing wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> can everybody do that?